If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Here with Scott McIntyre from uh, American Idols. And, uh, you know, the one thing for you is I can tell you were a true musician. You loved it and your family and all that stuff. You obviously had a, a lot more time to play maybe on the road. No, I mean, is it? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, not a ton, but I, I've definitely done a lot as an independent artist you know, before American Idols. I was, I was on, it all kind of started at a very young age. The first time I was on TV was when I was six years old. I was, I was playing for a neighbor's uh, wedding. And they hired me to bring my little keyboard down there and play, play the processional, recessional, all, the, all this different stuff for, uh, for the wedding. And CNN actually came and filmed it. How many years and, ago was that? Uh, you that, that, was, that was when I was six years old. I just turned 24. Oh, wow. So, um, you know, and it was, it was crazy. And they came to the house, did a little footage there. And my, my favorite quote from the CNN story, it ran on CNN, headline news, and they kept running it. Um, they're like, Scott composes music for his family and girls he likes. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's always music and girls, I, I, right? I didn't even know that. Six years old. <laughs> well, how's it been for the girls? Have you signed some autographs going out, shaking hands? I mean, yeah, I know you, you have a challenge that other people here don't have, but I'm sure the roar of the crowd out there was the same. We saw Michael walk out. It was crazy. Yeah, it, it's, it's crazy every day. My, my favorite part, actually, is at night, you know, after the show, uh, we didn't get to do this in D.C. Um, last night, just because of the way the venue was set up and we were right on, on a bunch of streets and everything, but, um, you know, almost every night, actually pretty much every night, we finish with all the show, the meet and greets, everything after the show, and finally about 12 o'clock we get out to the buses, and there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, you know, over a thousand fans sometimes just around the barricades, and that's really where you get the true reaction. So what do people say to you? They want a picture with you? They want an autograph? They want to talk to you? What do they want? I mean, they, you know, everyone's screaming half the time, but it's, it's uh, you know, pictures, autographs, sometimes I'll, I'll run down the barricades, uh, giving people high fives, it's, it's crazy. So what do you, when you go home and with your brother and your family, what do you say about all this fuss? I mean, obviously, <laughs> you signed up to do this thing, you had no idea that it would get this far, it must have been, this is a hell of yeah. an adventure, huh? It, it is, you know, I had, I did have no idea I would get this far, I, it was just a year ago I was auditioning in one of these various stadiums, um, just one person, When was your audition, Dan? When, when did the whole thing begin? July 25th. Oh, wow, so that's my wedding anniversary, so it's been a year a week. Hey, there you go. There you yeah. go. So, you know, it's, yeah, it's been a year and a week for me, and I stood on the very stage of the arena I mentioned it, which was, which was amazing a couple weeks ago. And, you know, we were all dreaming of this part of the competition. I think this was the goal, you know, to go through the, uh, the turmoil and the struggle of the TV show, which is about drama and about, you know, production value, and, and the music figures in there somewhere, but now we really get to make music for the fans. And people come, they want to hear it, you know, it's, it's really an amazing experience. How much of you in the show, how many songs do you get to do? And, and I, I have to ask you about the dancing routines, because I think that's the thing that people really admired about you and marveled about. Yeah, you, absolutely. You, the, and, and the teamwork of, you know, your people you're competing with helping you and making right. it look good. It's, it's a very interesting dynamic. You know, on the show, it, it took a while for, you know, for everyone to, to kind of become comfortable with it. There were several people who, who just got it right away and they were always, you know, helping me around uh, off camera as well. But, you know, by, by the last few weeks, it was, you know, we had built, built it into some of the routines and whatnot. So the, the cool thing about these stadium shows is, is it's not about uh, the television viewing audience. It's about everyone, you know, here. It's about the person in the front row. It's a concert, not a TV show. Well, it's, yeah, and it's, it's just as much about the, the farthest person in the back of the stadium. And, and I'm great at connecting with, uh, you know, with large groups of people and whatnot because it's not about looking precisely into a, into a television lens. So, there, you know, the choreography is a lot, uh, it's a lot more kind of, you know, it's, 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 it's bigger motions. It's kind of designed to fill a bigger space like this instead of the little nuances that you'd have for a TV show, which is great. But as far as my, you know, my music goes, I'm doing on the tour, I'm doing stuff that's a little bit more contemporary than what I did on the show, which I'm very excited about. We, we don't have Country Week or Motown Week or Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson Week anymore. You know, it's the first time I really get to show people what they can expect from me as an artist and as a songwriter in the coming months. And, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, I, I do have the next album coming out in the fall, uh, like I said, and it's, it's definitely representative of what people can expect on that. And I, you know, I'd be doing the same genre of music if I was on my own, my own tour right now or performing my own music. So it's, there's some Keens, some Vanessa Carlton, you know, a little bit of Billy Joel, of course, because I, you know, you know me. We always
always enjoy that. your Billy Joel, of course. Yeah, but it's, you know, what I, the stuff I write and that I've been writing for years is definitely in that kind of contemporary pop rock meets singer-songwriter type of vibe. So uh, this is a really great chance to showcase that. The reviews have been, have been fantastic. So. Arizona to Baltimore and playing the piano tonight. Good to meet you. Right, nice very to good to meet you. Thank, Thank you very so much for your time. It's a pleasure and inspiring watching you. Man. Keep in touch online. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.